Hello everybody, welcome to Jeff Quinton TV, and I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. This is the internet's most passionate real estate show. So today is a very, very important episode. I'm gonna talk about what's coming into effect January 1st, is the, what we call as the new 3.8% healthcare tax. If you're thinking of getting your home on the market, or it's currently on the market right now, this is maybe the most important video I've shot all year long, if you're thinking of selling, because this tax may affect you. Now, what is this I'm talking about? Well, this is, a, this is a tax, not a transfer tax, but a tax that's gonna go into effect that basically is about Medicare that Obama's putting in place starting and effective January 1, 2013. It only will affect and, and apply to secondary home and investment properties, okay guys? So if this is your primary home and it's on the market or you're thinking about getting your primary home on the market, it does not apply. But if you have a second home, investment property, rental property here at the shore, this will and may affect you, okay? 3.8%. Uh, tax. So what is this tax? Well, this is a tax, and again, it's not a transfer tax, it's a tax that's going to go into effect on every sale that's going to help, help boost Medicare. Okay, the money will be taken from upper income taxpayers, investment income including dividends, interest, uh, net rents, and capital gains. So, if you have a property on the market and you have a capital gain, this is going to affect you. Now, what I wrote down here is most home sales will not be touched by this in our country because main type of ownership is primary residence. However, capital gains tax will not apply on primary homes, but for individuals, uh, it will, and, and couples that are selling an investment property, all right? Now, because most properties here at the shore are second home investment properties, this may affect you, okay? So pay attention on this kind of these scenarios right now, all right? So here's who's gonna be affected, all right? Number one, both of these types of criteria I'm about to tell you will apply and will be affected for the 3.8% Medicare tax. Number one, individuals with a gain from real estate over 250,000 or a married couple over 500,000, okay? So if you're an individual, not married, single individual, and you have a gain over 250,000 in the sale of real estate, or if you're married and have a gain over 500,000, you will be affected and taxed at 3.8%. Now, number two, individuals earning $200,000 or couples earning $250,000 per year, you will also be taxed if you are in this, this criteria and you earn $200,000 as an individual single guy, single person, or $250,000 as a couple, you will be taxed this as of January 1, all right? So what does this look like? Well, here's a little chart behind us, okay? Here's what I'm gonna share with you. The number one scenario right here, let's say that you bought a property in 1990 and you paid $200,000 for it, okay? Today, let's say that same home, you know, 20 some years later is now worth 700,000. So you have a gain of $500,000. Well, guess what guys? If this new tax coming into play, 3.8% of that gain amount is gonna be affected to you and will apply. 3.8% on 500,000 is $19,000. Starting January 1, if this is your scenario and you've owned a home here a long time and have that kind of gain and this kind of appreciation, you will be, be paying, you will be paying $19,000 with accords to with according to this new Obamacare Medicare tax going into effect. Scenario two I talked about here over here is let's say that uh, you are a, a person who is an individual single person making over two hundred thousand or a couple making over two hundred fifty thousand. And by the way, guys, a major portion of our clients here make over two hundred fifty thousand that are married. Okay, so this is a, a major portion of our marketplace here. So here's what we got. Let's say that you bought a home in year two thousand. Okay and you paid 350000 for it. Today it's worth 500000 which is, a, yeah, this is all realistic scenario. So you've got a gain of $200,000. On 3.8% on the gain, again, $7,600 an additional tax paid. Now this does not include capital gains tax, okay? This doesn't include the other normal 15% long-term capital gains tax and then the New Jersey tax as well. This is an addition to, now keep in mind, your normal closing costs of you know, commission, real estate transfer tax, capital gains, state and federal. And then in addition to that, if you're outside of the area, you have the non-residence tax as well, an additional 2%. So guys, this may affect you. Again, this is important information that if you're thinking of selling your home, you may want to consider getting it on the market now or selling in this calendar year before this becomes effective, all right? So again, without a doubt, I always, always, always strongly advise you to talk to your accountant, your tax person, your attorney, anybody to get this type of advice. I'm not that guy. I'm just here to provide you with the information that I've learned and pass this on so that you guys can make the right decision and uh, decide if this tax will affect you this year 
or next year or whichever you may want to do, okay? So this is very, very important to take a look at. If you'd like to know how much your home is worth in today's market, to figure out these numbers, if it's worth the sell now or later, simply give me a call. I'll give you a free market analysis, no obligation, tell you exactly what our buyers are willing to pay, what the market's bringing for your home. Just simply email me back here. If you have any thoughts on this, give us your comments here below on the blog. I want to hear from you guys. Reach out to me. Uh, you can email me, jeff at jeffquinton.com. My number direct, 609-398-5333. And as always, I look forward to our conversation being the best of your day. Have a great one.